All right, guys. I had to go live for this just just one time because this is a super super rare thing that you never see. We actually have a tornado warning in Wyoming, out here in the middle of nowhere. Pretty unreal. I am also watching Storm Runner Media. He's actually chasing after some storms in Texas and. Uh, just so people know, Dallas is about to get hammered by 65 mile per hour winds and lots of hail. So, but Dallas, you need to be ready. Mostly southern Dallas. It's coming. Let's actually go down to Dallas real quick before we take a look at this tornado warning storm up here in Miami. This is like super ultra rare. I, I made a video and uploaded it too, but I wanted to go live for this just because uh, I wanted to warn some people about this storm coming into Dallas right here. So we have this this big giant hailstorm right here. It's got a severe destructive warning on it, so you want to get your cars inside, everything, get your pets inside, because golf ball size hail. Hold on, let me pull up the uh, threat for this real quick. All right, where is my radar? All right, here we go. Okay. Hazard golf ball size hail and 65 mile per hour wind gusts. Uh, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail to damage roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. So yeah, this is basically our storm here. Coming into Dallas. And it's, it's on top of Fort Worth now. It's starting to touch the outskirts of Dallas, so. Yeah, what do you mean? just want to get people heads up on this. Uh, actually, let me, I don't even think I started my stream. Did I go? Okay. Yep, okay. Oh, sweet, astronomy kid, you got Discord. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, bro. Let me pop out chat. Did you add me yet? I was debating on going live for a while today, but uh, I decided since, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, there's this big storm here in Texas. I don't think we're going to see any tornadoes today. We might see a small one in Texas somewhere. The threat's really low. Yeah, there, there's a, hold on, let me type my, uh, let me type my Discord in chat. She had me on that. So yeah, this monster storm's heading into Dallas. I know this this storm's not tornadic or anything. It's just 65 mile hour winds and like golf ball size hail. So I just wanted to warn everybody because this this is a huge huge area. I mean this this storm's already impacted a ton of houses already. But I mean it's just heading into the heart of Dallas now. So highly doubt we will see a tornado out of this storm. But basically, yeah, this is where our front lines of winds are, are blasting through right here. But we do actually have a tornado warning up here in Wyoming, which is absolutely nuts. Um, I like forgot Wyoming was even a state. And Casper's actually got a lot of people living there. Like this thing was absolutely cranking a couple scans ago. Um, for some reason, this radar site is weird. No, what's wrong with it? It's not showing me the velocities here. Oh, here we go. We can see it here. For some reason, the bottom one's messing up on me. Connor, I think Kevin wants your attention, bro. We actually have some pretty strong velocities in this storm here in Dallas. I mean, looking like right here, our gate to gate shear was pretty strong in this area. I guess the radar site decided to shut off over here in Wyoming. I don't know what's going on with this mess. Now it's working down here. All right. So, these scans look kind of weird because I don't know. Like, this looks really weird. This is kind of like some desert out here, but this storm is actually heading right towards Casper. Our scans are looking a little funky. It looks like when I go out, yeah, it just, like, drops the scans for a while. I guess this site's just not used to these kind of things, but uh, 
mean, there was a, some pretty good rotation in this thing. It looked like it was trying to drop a tornado. We go ahead and get a 3D view of this, this storm out here. There's a lot of hail, too. Yeah, this is in Wyoming, guys. This is out in Wyoming in Natrona County. This is out in the middle of nowhere, but it is heading to Port Town where there's a lot of people. I mean, clearly we can see where our rotation is. The storm is 100% a threat. Um, they're not even in our... Uh, this isn't even in our chance for tornadoes today. We have a really small chance for tornadoes today. Let me pull that up. So we really only have like a 2% right here in Texas. Uh, there was nothing called for Wyoming. Mainly the big, big reason I'm alive is just because of this big hailstorm that's heading in at Dallas. But it just so happens that we got a tornado warning up here in Wyoming in the middle of nowhere. I think we're missing a lot of data from this storm. <laughs> but they still have it tornado warned. I want to kind of go to show you, because I think like Wyoming is one of the smallest states in the United States, or as in population. Like there's just a whole lot of nothing out here. Downloading updates to USB and you bring this over here. So I don't, I don't even know what it's like. I'm guessing this is kind of like Great Plains desert area. So it's like just a whole bunch of nothing out here. But when, where is Casper at? Okay. Natrona County. So our tornado warning is in Natrona County. But yeah, there's a whole lot of nothing until you get to Casper. And we got a whole bunch of houses here in Casper. So it is heading that way. Hopefully it falls apart by then. I could have been a little bit more patient and tried to get a new one put in there. But I was just like, okay. Okay, you sent a friend request. I'll, I'll accept it. Let me, uh, let me pop up Discord real quick. Here in a minute. So I don't even know if this radar even reaches out that far. It looks really kind of funny here, to be honest. Oh no, it's the tilt. That's why. Okay, my bad. I had the tilt, the tilt set set up wrong on this radar out here. Okay. So yeah, we still got a bit of rotation here by Powder River. This is out in Wyoming. Let me go ahead and fire up this word. Anybody that's just hopping into, let me go back down to Texas and leave the radar in Texas for now because Dallas is getting getting hit really hard by a really strong, severe thunderstorm right now. There's really no tornado threat from this storm, but uh, lots and lots of hail heading into Dallas. It's already on the outer bands of the highway that goes outside around Dallas. Looks like it's only like one inch size hail now. It looks like it kind of downturned in some. I don't know if this thing's still strength, still cranking out 65 mile per hour winds, but that's what it was telling me earlier. Let me pull up our national weather again. Nice All right. So we got one alert here, severe thunderstorm warning. All right. So yep, hazard 65 mile per hour wind gusts and half a dollar size hail. So it, they reduced it from golf ball to half a dollar size hail. So that's good. Hey, so this isn't nearly as bad as a as it was. So they're talking golf ball size hail, what, 10, 15 minutes ago. We still have 65 mile per hour wind gusts coming from the storm. The storm. All right, let me go ahead and. Oh man, there was some storms forming down there. Let me go back down to South Texas real quick. So we had a storm that was looking like tornadic down here, right? But it just disappeared. Just got ripped to shreds. That's what's left of it. It just got ripped to shreds. This thing had a really good rotation on it down here by Rockdale, but it, there's nothing left. This thing was like 60, 50, 60,000 feet in the air like 30 minutes ago, and there's just nothing left of it. It just got shredded and ripped apart. So there was some there was some rain down there. I know Austin really needs rain bad. I know I watched a video on Austin like being starved out for rain lately. But yeah, um, I got right here. I got a uh, Storm Runner Media. He's he's almost 
He's about 30 minutes away from these storms he's trying to catch up to. Pretty sure I have him linked in the description if anybody doesn't know who he is. Storm Runner Media. Let me go ahead and pull up Discord real quick. If I have it open. And Astro Kid, all right, I got you. I got you, bro. Yeah, this storm down here was looking pretty crazy. It was until it got ripped to pieces. But there's a lot of storms right here on top of Dallas. We got more storms coming, so it looks like Dallas is going to get a lot of rain tonight. We have some really big three-inch hail in this one heading towards Weatherford. We actually got a little bit of rotation back here by Brazos. I was looking at the wind stream, kind of where our our dry line is and everything. And let me pull that up too. this have fun I got a little bit scared there for a second yeah the one on top of Dallas doesn't look like looks like pretty much a zero percent chance of tornadoes at one by Dallas the wind stream like constantly changes here Trying to see these these storms in the back. Kind of see why they're rotating, right? See, we got the the, the hot and cold air meeting right here. So it's very possible we may see some rotation out here. But this wind stream it changes all the time. Nashville? Oh yeah, there's nothing going on in Nashville. I don't think. Nashville. There's very low chance for tornadoes today. Yeah, no, that's true. There's nothing out here in Tennessee. We have a really, I'm probably not going to be that live that long either today. I just wanted to go live real quick while this storm is coming into Dallas because it's hitting a really big town and we got a lot of hail coming into Dallas right here. You can kind of see the uh, threat here. Let me, I can make it a little bit brighter. Kind of see our, our threat. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I certainly was not. It's pretty much here in that yellow circle. You're going to see 60, 65 mile per hour winds, half dollar size hail. So, like, you want to get your pets inside, get your cars in the garage, whatever you can do to, like, minimize the damage. We do actually have a tornado warning, though. Hold on. I <laughs> warning all the way up in Wyoming, which is super rare. I made a video on and my OBS is disconnecting. Good stuff. It looks like this storm's kind of going south of Dallas now. Let's get a good look at this thing now that we're here. It's not that big. Kind of looks like it's gotten weaker as it so came over Dallas and it's starting to go more south. I mean, look how much bigger it was. We are cutting off parts of it, cutting it off because it's really close to the radar. It looked like our severe part was up over 40,000 feet. As we come, as it's closing in on southern Dallas, it looks like the most severe parts are dropping all the way down to about 30,000 feet. Yeah, Oklahoma's fine. That was all you. Copy that. Oklahoma is good. I believe so. I don't even know if there's any storms in Oklahoma. Let's go up there real quick. Yep, you got nothing in Oklahoma. 
Did, is the stream going still? It, it did disconnect for a minute. Is the stream back up and going? Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, I wanted to watch Max Velocity's video too today. His seven day outlook. If you guys are, if you guys want to watch that with me? Oklahoma is good. Basically here for Dallas. And I guess we're here for Wyoming now as well. Yeah, I don't, this doesn't, this probably won't be a very long stream. We'll probably just be here for the next 30 minutes, an hour or so. Just kind of watching this storm go over Dallas. Going to check the area for some more rotations too. Like we don't see like, there's hardly any rotation in this storm right here. It's really not a lot of hail either. Got some rotation back here in these storms, though. Got some really big hail coming into Weatherford, though. Three inch size hail. This storm's a beast out here. Yeah, this thing, this thing's a monster. Like our severe area reaches all the way up almost to sixty thousand feet. This thing has three inch size hail in it. is all the way out here by Weatherford. I'm not, I'm not sure how big Weatherford is. Let's see. So Weatherford, you need, need to get inside and get safe because, uh, yeah, this, this monster of a storm's coming through with three-inch size hail really soon. Let me, uh, let me pull up our Google Maps again real quick. I'm curious, too, of, like, some of the power outages. So the tornado warning storm out here in Wyoming is in this county right here, Natrona County, and we have, uh, Basically, a tornado warning storm heading towards Casper here in Wyoming. Go back to let's go to Weatherford. Weatherford, Texas. So it's, I say Weatherford, Texas has the biggest uh, biggest threat at the moment with this three-inch size hail is about to come into Weatherford, and Weatherford's huge. Yeah, yeah, Weatherford, you guys need to be ready because we have like an absolutely monstrous hail core coming into Weatherford right now. It's already touching Weatherford. I mean, this is kind of sneaky too because as soon as it starts raining, you're probably going to see some really large hail in Weatherford. Am I still cutting off? Man, hold on a second. It might have been because I was uploading that video. Let me see. Shouldn't be cutting off. Might have to restart my internet, but I can't do that while I'm streaming. Is it still acting up? I think I have anything else running. Making sure I don't have any other stuff running. Deviation enthusiast. Sorry if this was mentioned, but what website service is this? Oh, um, this is GR2 Analyst is what I'm using right now. If you go into the, uh, if you go into the uh, description, we'll link, we'll link, it's linked up in there. If I, you say I'm still lagging really bad, uh, astronomy kid, it's still doing. It. Okay, well, that's the case. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to restart computer real quick so guys i'm so sorry there's a bunch of you here i'll i'll be back as soon as i can i'm gonna go ahead and call my internet service pro provider and have them restart my modem and uh i'll be back in like five ten minutes